Hi folks, Sandy Hovetter here of Data Designs Publishing. Today we're going to talk about special characters and I'm going to show you how to create some of the most commonly used special characters. With that, let's get started. What you see is a sentence here, now let's go shopping, she said. What's wrong with that sentence, other than the fact that perhaps you don't want to go shopping, what's wrong with that sentence is that it uses the wrong kind or incorrect uh, quote marks and an apostrophe. These are straight quotes. They're the kind of quotes that you get when you just use the, the apostrophe key on your keyboard. But if you're creating a professionally desktop published desktop publishing piece, you want to use typographical quotes. Now I'm just typing. You can see that I have the straight quotes. So I'll delete that and to change from straight quotes to typographical quotes, we go to the edit menu down to Preferences, and then from within the Preferences menu, we go to Type. Click on Type, and you can see the first box here in the main part of the window it says Use Topographer's Quotes. When I click that, say OK, I will now get typographical quotes. Now, let's go shopping, she said, and I now have true typographical quotes and, uh, and apostrophe. And that's all well and good. Let's say that I'm working with text that includes not only quotes, but uh, measurements, inches and feet. Let's say we're doing something that is three foot six inches. Well, that's not right because you don't use curly quotes or typographer's quotes with, uh, to indicate inches and feet. You use straight quotes. So I could come back here, edit, preferences, type, this time I will uncheck the Use Topographer's Quote option, say OK, and when I type again, 3 foot 6 inches, I have uh, straight quotes indicating feet and inches. Now let me tell you a secret that technically using straight quotes is not correct. There's actually another character, and that character is called a prime. If you were being 100% correct, you would want to use that character. It's a little bit slanted, but it's not curly. So it's not straight, it's not curly, it's just a little, it's kind of straight, just a little bit slanted. 90% of the people don't know that, and very few, even professional topographers, use that special character. We're seeing more and more in modern usage simply the straight quote uh, to indicate, or the straight apostrophe to indicate feet, and the straight quote to indicate inches. It can get pretty annoying if you want to go back and forth between uh, straight quotes and curly quotes. So one of the ways that you can avoid going back and forth to the edit menu, preferences, type, and clicking that on and off is by learning what are called keyboard commands. You enter these characters with from the keyboard by using your alt key and uh, some established numbers that I'll teach you. But first I want you to understand that you hold down the Alt key and you must enter the numerical code from the number keypad. You can't enter the numerical, numerical code from the numbers that are at the top of your keyboard. It has to be entered from your numerical keypad. The numbers, uh, the numerical codes for the different quote marks, Alt 0145 gives you a single quote, a uh, single left quote. Uh, Alt 0146 will give you an apostrophe. Alt 0147 will give you a left quote. Alt 0148 will give you a right quote. Now that's a lot to remember. I'm, I'm going to show you how to have that information at your fingertips in just a few minutes. First, however, I want to take it a little bit further and I want to uh, show you how to add some other special characters. A commonly used special character, let me extend my text box here. There we go. Get rid of some of these extra characters. There we go. I'm wishing it was 78 degrees outside. To make that degree sign, you're going to do, there's number 78, to enter the degree sign, you're going to enter an Alt 0176. Some people will try to create that by using a letter O, maybe make it just about two-thirds the size, and then they'll 
move it higher. That's not what you want. Let me put it next to the first. You can see that they're different characters and you're just making your uh, file more error prone. You're, it looks wrong, it is wrong, and you're more likely to have errors uh, in the future if you do things like this. So Alto 176 will give you a degree sign. Another special character, copyright symbol, is an Alt-0169. Again, you don't need to remember these. I'm going to show them to you in a few minutes. A trademark is an Alt-0153. And a registered trademark is an Alt-0174. If you don't use them often, don't remember the codes. But if it's something you do a lot, if you use the copyright symbol a lot or the registered trademark symbol a lot, you can learn the keyboard command and it will really make you much more efficient. What happens if you don't want to learn those codes? There's an easy way to find them in InDesign. Go to Type, Insert Special Characters, Symbols, and you can see that here's the copyright symbol. You can also get it with an Alt-G. Here is the registered trademark with an Alt-R, or a trademark symbol with an Alt-2. Let me just click on Copyright Symbol and you can see that it entered a copyright symbol next to the one that I had created using the, uh, the numeric code. Again, that's type, insert special character, symbols, and here we'll add the trademark symbol. And just because repetition is how we learn, we'll do the last one, type, insert special character, symbol, and register trademark. I also want to take you one other place, one other resource that you might find helpful. This is our website. Go to Resources, Data Designs Publishing Resources, and then the first entry is Data Designs Publishing Tip Cards. Click on that. Let me move down a bit. And you can see that we have a series of tip cards. Uh, the one at the bottom that you can download is called Special, or it covers Special Characters and Microsoft Windows Common Commands. So if you click on that, you can download. It's about a three by five card. On one side of the card, it has uh, a table with many of the most commonly used special characters. And you'll find all of those that I've already talked about today. Uh, the, the symbol and the numeric code that will uh, enable you to create that symbol. And on the other side of the card are the most commonly used Microsoft Windows commands. So that can be a helpful card. I keep mine right uh, near my keyboard because I use them frequently. If I don't use a symbol for, for a period of time, I forget the numeric code. It's faster for me to look it up on the, uh, the, the tip card than going through the menus to find them. Well, that's it for me today. Thanks so much for joining me. Please, if you have any questions, feel free to call us or to email us. Our website is www.datadesignspublishing.com, and uh, the numbers, uh, our phone number is 419-660-0500, and you can email me, sandy at datadesignspublishing.com. Thanks so much, and have a great day.